Well, no two crises are the same. I would characterize the one in 1997-98 as a, a crisis of financial globalization. Then came 2008. It's really a financial crisis of financial culture. Now this particular one, COVID-19 triggered uh, uh, crisis, is because a virus occurred and then every, everything will have, has, has to stop. Now this one uh, is not easy to handle. It is against the background that the problem leading to the two previous financial crises have not yet been resolved. I wouldn't like to forecast what was likely to happen, but I fear that the third financial crisis may be on the horizon. There is a Chinese saying called Go on CI, and translated into English, it could well be uh, make hay while the sun shines. If there is nothing that you need to change, you have to be, be prepared for the next crisis. Build up the instruments, have it up your sleeves, and you will feel comfortable when it occurs and then you can pull it out of your safe. What has been affecting Hong Kong as an international financial centre was the social unrest that we have experienced in the past year. Now, national security legislation hopefully will form the foundation of social order and safety returning to Hong Kong. If you ask me whether I'm in favour of quantitative easing or negative interest rates, I would say no, I'm not in favour of it. I'm in favour of exercising a bit of fiscal discipline and saving a bit more money rather than just spending beyond your mean. I have full confidence in the linked exchange rate system. There's no doubt about that. I actually worry more about the US dollar falling down sharply rather than the Hong Kong dollar being put under pressure on the weak side.